Rounding money amounts. When working with money, you need to know how to round it, either to the nearest cent, nearest dollar, or to a larger amount, such as the tens or hundreds place. Here's why rounding is important. Read this sentence. Last year, Smith and Sons sold three million four hundred and twenty three thousand five hundred and sixty seven pounds of flour. Isn't that a confusing number? Of course we can understand it, but it's easier to understand this. Last year, Smith and Sons sold around three million pounds of flour. Since people don't need the details of the number, the rounded number is often better to use. The key in rounding is to determine what main number the exact amount is closest to. You should already know how to round, but if you need a refresher, here are the steps. Determine what place you are rounding to. Think about what amounts the number is in between. Look at the number to the right. If it is five or greater, round up. If it is less than five, round down. Remember that when you round down, you leave the number the same. Include placeholder zeros as needed. Think if your answer makes sense. These steps make more sense when we use them. So let's look at some examples. Round $31.67 to the nearest dollar. We are rounding to the nearest dollar, so that's where the one is. This amount is between $31 and $32, so we need to decide which amount it is closer to. To do that, we need to look at the number to the right, 6. This is greater than 5, so we'll round up to the next dollar, $32. We don't need placeholder zeros, but we could put them, $32. $32. Does this make sense? $31.67 is close to $32. The price of gas is $3.299. Round this to the nearest cent. We are rounding to the nearest cent, so that's where the first nine is. This amount is between $3.29 and $3.30. We need to determine which amount it is closer to. To do that, we need to look at the number to the right, 9. This is greater than 5, so we'll round up to the next cent, $3.30. Notice that we had to look at both decimal places. The number one higher than 29 cents is 30 cents. You can't just change the 9 to a 10 because you'd get 3.210 and that's 21 cents. We don't need placeholder zeros. $3.30 does this make sense? Yes, $3.30 is very close to $3.299. Last year, Everett Corporation had $385,217.34 in sales. Round this to the nearest thousand. 
we're rounding to the nearest thousand, which is where the five is. This amount is between 385,000 and 386,000 dollars. We need to determine which it is closer to. To do that, we need to look at the number to the right of the five, the two. This is less than five, so we will round down to $385,000. Notice that we did not make the five lower and change it to a four. That would be too low. When we round down, the number stays the same. $385,000. That's because the number is closest to $385,000. Notice that the rest of the digits are now placeholder zeros. $385,000. Does this make sense? Yes. $385,217.34 is close to $385,000. Let's recall what you have learned so far. $385,217.34